One of the first accessories that we wanted to add to the new golf cart for the homestead is a golf cart trailer. A trailer makes your golf cart a lot more um, useful because you can haul stuff around the homestead like building materials, gardening materials, all that stuff and it makes your your life a lot easier. So join us. We purchased this golf cart trailer at Northern Tool and we're getting ready to assemble it. So let's get this job done. So we have this 2017 club car golf cart and we put this hitch on here um, in the last video. I'll put a link above and below so you can take a look at how we did that. So today in this big old box, we have a trailer to use with our golf cart. This is gonna allow us to move things around the property easier, particularly as we're moving into the new homestead. Um, we can move boxes in to the basement, into the house, plus we're gonna need it to move gardening materials around, other materials around the property. So it's gonna be a great tool. So we got this from Northern Tool. Okay, so this trailer is the Polar Trailer Model HDM 1400. It has a 1400 pound load capacity, which is pretty amazing. It is mesh on the outside, so if you wanna carry dirt, you're gonna have to what? Have some kind of liner, liner in there. Um, you can get ones that'll carry dirt, but they tend to be smaller. So this is gonna be great for moving wood, and if we wanna do um, well, dirt, we'll just put it in a container. Construction materials, you're gonna do a raised garden maybe? Yeah, yeah. So this is what it is, it's the Polar Trailer by Clam HDM 1400. I'll put a link um, in the description if I could do that. So this is our um, warranty information and our instruction manual. So we are gonna start by tearing this box open and we're gonna bit, get busy. Okay, so let's get this box open here. This is a huge box. Oh! Ah! Okay guys, this is not your little tiddlywink kind of cart. This is gonna be a big cart. So it's a two-wheeler? Well, you don't need I'm guessing you don't need four. Yeah, because if, it, if it's held on here. Yeah. And I'm guessing. So I've seen like garden carts with a big plastic tub. We might get one of those actually too, but we're going to start with this. Ooh! Sure. 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 Ooh, yeah. Sure. Now we're talking. Now this is going to be cool. Ah. This isn't a little tiddly wink. Mm -mm. So there's our tire. There's Eric's Hustler in the background. And we're going to, um, let's get the rest of the stuff out of this box and we'll be back. All right, there's two pieces like this, and this is gonna hold the axle to the frame of the cart here. So the one side I already put on, it has three holes with these little bolts that look like these, and it's pretty straightforward. And once you get it on there loosely, you just put the axle through on the one end. And then on this side, we just put the axle through on this side, right? You just put it through on this side, make sure I don't drop it. So we're just going to go ahead and attach it. We got the same three holes over here with the same bolts and nuts and stuff. And then we're just going to loosely attach it. There's things I believe that's going to attach the axle. So we can't tighten anything down just yet. So I guess we'll have part of this cage installed in a moment once I get these uh, three bolts in. So that's what the bolts look like on the one side where I've already done it. They're loosely in there. They're just holding this uh, bracket in and holding a part of the axle in. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So this is called the tongue connector and it's just basically a carriage bolt. Um, with this big nut here and we're not going to really tighten it down it's got to be able to move freely so i might tighten a little bit 
but I'm just not supposed to over tighten it. And then we're going to have additional parts connecting to it because it's got this extra holes to go this way. This thing is a crazy bolt, that's for sure. Looks like a tongue to me, boo boo. <laughs> got a big one. What kind of stuff you plan on putting in here, boo boo? Um, I'm gonna put in some boxes when we move. Well, sounds like you need a heavy duty tongue for boxes and. All right, that looks good for now. So now Eric's tightening the screws down um, on those brackets holding the axle. So we're about to put the tire on. For some reason, the instructions tell you to put the gates on the sides first. We're not doing that. We're doing that last because I don't want it to rest on the gates. So um, we have a washer on first to the axle. Make note of that in the instrument for a moment. Put the tire on the axle. Another washer on the axle. Put the pen in the hole. In the hole. Lock it in place. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So we're going to put on the other one. We have wheelage. Wheelage? Uh huh. Sure. Those are pretty big tires. Slightly bigger than a flash. A lot more knobby. So we missed one step. We missed these bolts that uh, hold the axle onto this bracket. So we're going to go ahead and put those in. Makes it a lot easier if you do this before you put the tire on. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we're putting on the rails. We didn't clean a public stretch. <laughs> We're making it over the top of all the packing material. Okay, boo, hitch her up. So you put the trailer on the hitch. Do you guys want to see how we put that hitch on? I'll put it. A lot a... easier than our bigger trailer. <laughs> and we're going to put the cotter pin in there. You ain't going nowhere. We're hitched. 